Sometimes it's described as a cyclone, other times an anti-cyclone, and once even a vortex. The interesting thing though is that all of those theories are wrong. They underestimate the power of the Great Red Spot, or how much of a mystery it remains rather. In this video, we'll be going over what's really inside the eye of Jupiter. Have you ever wondered what is really inside Jupiter's red spot? Before getting into this fully, let us discuss Jupiter a bit. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the sun and the largest planet in our solar system. It has no solid surface, but it is made of mostly hydrogen and helium along with some water, methane, and ammonia crystals. It also has a thin envelope of gases, which includes neon and oxygen. The atmosphere contains clouds that are made up of sulfur compounds and other materials. Jupiter's atmosphere is made up of the following layers. The troposphere, the lowest layer, is where most of the planet's weather occurs. It contains ammonia ice crystals, water vapor, and sulfur compounds which are poisonous to humans, along with some other materials. The troposphere is about 0 to 100 kilometers or 62 miles thick. The stratosphere is the second layer of Jupiter's atmosphere. It contains water vapor, along with other materials, such as methane and hydrogen sulfide. The temperature decreases from about negative 100 to negative 130 degrees Celsius or negative 148 to negative 220 degrees Fahrenheit in this part of the atmosphere. The third layer is the thermosphere. It contains a large amount of hydrogen and helium ions, along with some other materials. The temperature in this region reaches up to 2000 degrees Celsius, or 3630 degrees Fahrenheit. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system, and it has some really big features on its surface. One of those features is a giant red spot that sits just above the storm clouds on Jupiter's atmosphere. It's not clear what causes this spot to form or why it stays there, but scientists believe that understanding these processes will help us better understand how storms happen on other planets as well. What looks like a reddish glow is actually the result of light turbulence in Jupiter's atmosphere, which causes a blue color. Scientists have recorded sound waves traveling at approximately 600 miles per hour inside of Jupiter. With this information, scientists were able to confirm that there is a strong gravitational field at Jupiter's core, something that has never been seen before with any other planet or satellite orbiting close to its parent star. Jupiter has a large and powerful magnetic field, which is thought to be caused by an internal dynamo. This means that there are currents of electrically conducting fluids within Jupiter's outer core. The giant storm on Jupiter was first recorded by a telescope in 1665, but not until 1979 did scientists really know what it was. This storm is so big that it can be seen with a small telescope from Earth. The red spot is actually two separate storms that have been spiraling around each other since they first formed millions of years ago. The red spot sits about 9,000 miles above Jupiter's cloud tops, and it's made of icy ammonia crystals, which are constantly being born and destroyed by the wind in this anticyclone. The wind in the red spot is extremely fast and powerful, causing it to be one of the strongest storms in our solar system. The ammonia in the red spot doesn't originate from any particular source on Jupiter. Instead, it was created when a meteoroid, or a small body, hit Jupiter's atmosphere at high speed, about 700 miles per hour. This caused an explosion of gas that was blown into space as fast as possible, and some of it eventually found its way into our solar system. From research, the giant storm itself is about 3 to 4 miles deep, 
but its temperature is only about negative 270 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 450 degrees Celsius. While we can't travel at the speed of light, the Hubble Space Telescope can get images of stars that are billions of light years away. Although, keep in mind that what we see them as today isn't how they used to look like before when they were first formed. The Great Red Spot is a massive storm raging on Jupiter for at least 400 years. It's so big that Earth could fit inside of it two times over. Above that, there are darker layers of ammonia and other substances, mostly frozen water. Ammonia itself is a colorless gas with a strong smell. It's made up of nitrogen and hydrogen, two elements that you might recognize as common household products. As nitrogen gas is used to make fertilizers, and hydrogen can be found in all kinds of cleaning products. In fact, ammonia was once used as an explosive by the American military during World War I. Another interesting fact about ammonia is its importance to Earth's ecosystem because it helps break down organic material into carbon dioxide, which plants use, and water, which becomes rain or snow. But above even that, there are even more layers of gases, including hydrogen and helium, which make up most of Jupiter. These are the same elements that make up the stars and our sun. They're also what make up our atmosphere here on Earth. There's about 0.05% helium in our atmosphere, but it was once thought to be practically zero. That was because when we look at spectroscopes, which measure light from different wavelengths, we see no sign of any helium atoms at all in this region around Earth. But scientists realized that if they looked closely enough at how much light was coming from certain regions around the planet, they could find traces of this element. And they did! The helium that we see in our atmosphere is the same helium created during the Big Bang. It's not just on Earth, it's everywhere. The Big Bang Theory states, that all matter was once compressed into a tiny dense point. This point then exploded and began expanding outward in all directions. As it expanded, matter cooled down and formed the universe that we know today, including the stars and planets. This is important for helium because it means that this element shouldn't have been formed until much later on in the universe's history. But scientists found it here anyways. This is what scientists believe about what lies in the red spot of Jupiter. It's a mystery, but scientists aren't giving up. Theories around as to what is inside Jupiter's red spot. Some think it is made up of clouds. Others, that it contains a huge stormy area with lightning and thunderstorms. One idea, is that there are two separate storms in the same spot, one on top of another, and they interact with each other by heating one another with friction, just like two cars driving over each other. Theories aside, what do you think? I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this topic. Do you think that Jupiter's red spot is full of gases, or perhaps dust, or maybe even liquid? Leave your comments down below. And if you're a new subscriber, we welcome you to the family. Kindly like this video and share it with all of your friends as well.